All right, today we're gonna to show you how to terminate the Page Game Changer cable. This is a CAD6 that goes twice as far as the standard CAD6, but it has 22 gauge conductors, which is a little larger than a standard CAD6 also. So what we're gonna use are these Simply 45. S45 1700P is the part number. This is a CAT6 or 6A, and it does work with 22 gauge conductors. This is what that connector looks like. First thing we're gonna do is strip off the last inch, inch and a half of the jacket or so. Don't throw this piece away, we're gonna use that. What we won't use is the rip cord at this point. So we're gonna just trim that off, send it away. And then the next thing I like to do is to separate the pairs, orange and brown on opposite sides of each other it's just like the green and the blue. And we're gonna start with the orange pair where I'm just going to pinch the end. And when you see the end pinched and separated just a little bit, that's when I take the jacket and I go to my white and orange conductor, I spin it down to the bottom, grab it, and pull it off like this. And what that did was take the sort of the, the shape, the wiggles I'll call them, um, and straighten them out. And so we now have the orange and white conductor starting over here, the orange one right next to it. We're gonna to go to the green pair next and the green pair we're gonna split. So again, they're gonna alternate stripes and solids. So I know that after going stripe and solid, the next one I need is a stripe. So I'm gonna take this green and white conductor, go all the way down to the bottom again, grab, pinch and pull. And now I'm making a spot because again, this is the green pair gets split. So after I've done that to both, I've pulled down um, a little space in between the green striped and the green solid conductor. And that's where I'm pulling my blue pair in now. And again, I'm gonna make my little pinch. And I know the last one was a stripe. So I'm gonna grab the solid one. I'm gonna sp spin it down towards the base. Grabbing it at the base, pulling it straight, doing the same thing for the striped version of it. And again, we've got the conductor starting to fall into place into their order. We'll do the last one, which is brown. We get the striped one, go down to the bottom of it, grab and pull on both. Now we're starting to see them in the order that we want. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Kind of grabbing them, trying to uh, keep them in that order. The most important part of this process is to keep pinched between your fingers, the cable closest to the jacket. That's gonna make sure they don't kind of get into the wrong order. And how they look at the very end is not as important. That's gonna get trimmed off. And you'll see I'm sort of moving my hands back and forth and letting these slide between my fingers a little bit on one hand. I'll use my jacket again, sort of like a cable comb. It's really just flattening them out. You're starting to see it's nice and flat. You'll also notice that we're still in the right order. And if we aren't, and that's when we start to look, then we can move things around while they're nice and long. You'll see the green pair is split with the blue in between it. And now we're gonna start trimming some of this off. How much do we trim? Well, I take the length of the RJ45 and I give it another 50% or so, which means that I'm gonna make my trim mark right around there. Now, again, I'm leaving my finger underneath the cable here, keeping some pressure up on those conductors, trying to keep them all in this order, right? Next thing I'm gonna do is pay attention to the little tab on this RJ45. So I'm gonna have that tab facing down. I'll we'll call this the top of the connector. And I'm going to put my cables in and push them up against the top. And as I push them in, I'll pull the connector all the way down as far as I can pull it. This portion of the connector here 
is where the plastic part is going to be pushed in. And we want it to make sure that that grabs the jacket. It's going to push in right around the jacket. We don't want the connector to be up here where that part's gonna push into the conductors. Also, you'll notice that these conductors are gonna go all the way through and past where these gold pins are, teeth. I'm gonna pull it all the way down. This way I know that it is as far down as possible. It's gonna grab the jacket in the right spot. And also the untwisted portion of the cable is as close to the end of the connector as possible, ensuring the best performance. The other thing I'm gonna point out here is that on top you see the striped conductors, on bottom you'll see the solid. So this connector separates the four conductors on top and four conductors on bottom a little bit. It's not the same straight line all the way across. Some are up to the right, some are down to the left, depending on your, your vantage point here. This is how we know that they're all in the right spot. The next step, we take our crimp tool, insert our cable into the tool. So now we know it's all the way in. We're going to push it in, crimp it down. Sometimes you'll find one of the conductors needs a little encouragement to come off. That's totally fine. Pull it out open. You have a perfectly crimped RJ45 on your game changer cable.